It's not just a gimmick ki ha hum chips packets ko sunglasses bana rahe hain. Right. My Marathi <laughs> is still horrible. Uh, my team laughs at me a lot about it, but I try, you know. Uh, that's why waste pickers should not exist as a as an right. obligation. But agar hum waste pickers ko displace kar rahe hain, it has to be a positive displacement mm. into better life. Right. It's, but that's the sad part ki it's not necessarily in India the worst occupation available. Right. It is pretty bad. It's probably one of the worst. But some of waste pickers prefer doing this than mm. working in the farm or working As a construction labor, sunglasses is a very saturated market. Bought some brands. Hai. Huh. I mean, Lenskart tomorrow can just get some recycled material and make recycled sunglasses. Correct. Definitely can. They probably will, and it's good. I hope they do, right? Uh so, Anish, how do I look? Cool. <laughs> Cool, right? Hello, everyone. Welcome to Life We Talks. My name is Javia Sada. I'm your host, and we are going to talk today about innovations and technology taking place in India. We have Anish Malpani with us today, founder of Ashaya, a company that is making waste into fashion. Like they are making sunglasses from waste plastic wrappers, and how they are doing it. Well, we'll know about all of the things today from Anish. Welcome, Anish. How are you doing? Good. Thanks for having me, Javier. So, Anish. Sunglasses, sunglasses from you know the the waste plastic. How are you doing it? Ah, uh, good question. Ah, uh, you know we when we started working on this problem, we were researching that yeah, waste ka problem hai bada, but what is the problem exactly? Where does it lie? So we found out that in India, me sixty percent of plastic is actually recycled. Mm. The forty percent that is not recycled right. is mainly chips packets, multi-layered plastic packaging. Mm. What they call it, because mm. there's no technology that can really work on this. Right? Okay, no one is doing it. Let's try and do something about this. Right. So we started working on it, and we found we made some progress, and we were able to chemo-mechanically extract materials from it and file a patent, etc. Huh. Um, and then we got granules. We're like, okay, now we have material. What are the potential applications of this material? Mm. and then we were like you know why not try sunglasses because it's not too complex it's not too simple plus it's trendy it's a plus, yeah plus it's like it tells it shows off the properties of the material okay. because tum kaun sa bhi material use kar sakte ho na you have to use a material that is that you know it has to have some finesse intricacy good finish and aapne khud dekha hai na right right uh, and like so, see you wouldn't so, even so realize it's a good quality uh, right, yeah. plastic doesn't look like a cheap one yeah. so 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 yes. to be to be honest to be honest <laughs> sunglasses are not going to solve the chips packet problem right yeah. it's just a proof of concept for us ki dekho ye ho sakta hai aur kya kya nahi ho sakta hai correct correct but why only sunglasses i mean um, how did you get this idea of uh, making only sunglasses because i think you are the first ones into this yeah so we're the world's first recycled sunglasses the made from first. packets Of chips, right? Correct. Uh, Usually, recycled sunglasses here, hmm. but nothing from packets of chips, right? Correct. I know, and, and this is not the only thing we make. We also make coasters, by the way, which are also okay. available to buy. But this is, as I said earlier, a proof of concept. Hmm. Okay, okay. You have chips packets. This is what's possible. Hmm. Sunglasses aren't going to solve the problem. We have to be able to Absolutely. do a lot more things Correct. than this. Uh, but yeah, when we looked at all the, we actually did a brainstorming session where hmm. we listed 400 different options. Okay. We dwindled them down to 70. And then in those seventy, we you know we looked at many parameters like kitna, number of Amazon searches, average price on oh. Amazon, average margins, um, excitement of a the team, of research, all correct. of that. And then we like take it sunglasses might be a good product to go in the market with and start something. Right, yeah, right. And as you can see, we have a lovely wall here. Kabi dekha nahi hoga apne this kind of wall with all the plastic yeah. waste. So yes, uh, but when we talk about these sunglasses uh, and the material, what about the durability? And um, how you know which kind of audience are you targeting here? Yeah, so from a durability and target audience perspective, um, um, yeah, like one of the things we wanted to focus on was how do you how do we make sure we get high quality material hmm. uh, from this, right? Yeah. Um, so when you actually wear our sunglasses. um uh you, or like you know they're very bendy and light mm. and they're also very durable matlab right. humne ek, ek, ek experiment kiya where we took a car and we ran the car over the sun over the frames ki kya okay. hoga and nothing happened nothing to the sun, happened. Uh, to the to the frames so right like, thoda bend hua itna strong hai yeah thoda bend hua but okay. you can reframe it na okay. reform it back into a shape so it's very durable it's functional it's uv polarized so it's not just a gimmick ki ha hum chips packets ko sunglasses bana rahe right, right. wanted to be a functional thing and from a target audience perspective as i said sustainability is very hot right now and we uh, and not just from an environmental perspective but also from a social inclusion perspective correct uh, and especially in india waste problem is more than just 
chips ka packets ya kachra we have 1.5 to 4 million waste pickers in india who live mm. very poor lives right. um so you know when we are targeting our the, the audience we're selling to is mm. people who are um climate conscious uh, right. who are socially conscious mm. um and i think that's who we've targeted but also who like who like to who have who who have a lifestyle of sorts right mm-hmm. who want to look cool we don't want it to be just a yeah acha kaam hai it also needs to be something that somebody's going to wear irrespective of right. whether it is recycled or not right like yeah. hey, this is a cool sunglass mm. it's a cool pair of sunglasses and it's socially responsible and it's environmentally conscious like why would i not wear this correct sunglasses? you're making people um uh, conscious about the environment also and yeah. aware like yeah. what they are doing and um, these uh, sunglasses are coming out of the waste uh, plastic correct okay when i talk about ashay uh, ashay right am i ashaya ashay Asha, right Sorry. so um, when you started this company before this you were like not in india yeah uh, for a decade or like yeah. two decades yeah. you were there um, outside india but why did you come in india like as a kya click hua that uh, you were like no i want to get into the um, the sector the waste management sector because you were earning well yeah what just clicked so um i was born in aurangabad huh. and when i was 9 years old mom and dad got a job dad got a job in dubai so i went to dubai till i was 18 okay. and then uske baad america mein padhai karne ho gaya kyunki everybody does that everybody right. goes abroad to study then i started studying finance and i was like everybody wants to make money cuz finance mein hai so it's very competitive you join the rat race so i got a job in finance um so i was in uh, and then i wanted to move to new york because i was like ah paisa new york amazing yeah, lifestyle good yeah, life good right? life and then i moved to new york i was i was climbing the ladder they applied for my green card i was the youngest director in the company wow. uh so it was really good i had it all had a nice apartment i was i could do anything i wanted and at the same time i was like really depressed and this was something i couldn't explain to somebody right they like there was a void yeah but they were like ye kya ho raha hai like i mean I, if i told somebody i was feeling unhappy they were like q oh, you have everything like what do you <laughs> what else do you want anish how conceited of you to feel this way right that's how i thought in my head i i booked three appointments with psychologists that yeah. i never ended up going to oh my God. when i was in new york but i don't think i was it, i don't know if i was clinically depressed but i was very down and the mm. reason i was down was because the work culture that i was in was very toxic i thought i was becoming a worse person my priorities were not in the right place and i was like this has to be more to life sounds very cliched and corny yeah. but it has to be more to life than just like making rich people richer while making myself richer right like mujhe that didn't make seem to make sense so long story short i realized that i wanted to quit mm. and i wanted to use the privilege that i have um to uh, to try and do something better for other people okay. and the most important part here was to not be the hero ha ki hero banne ka koi mujhe ichha nahi hai right. so my own sanity because to uh, this was the only way i would feel like self love yeah i feel comfortable with who i am okay. because i'm so lucky right maybe 1% less than 1% of the world get the opportunities that i do so why can't we build a world where more people get more opportunities so i knew i wanted to come back to india focus mm. on poverty alleviation i believe in social enterprise which means that businesses that are built to solve social and environmental problems right. to mujhe malum tha wo karna hai but mujhe india ke bare mein malum kuch nahi malum tha i didn't live there for two decades i was right. a decade in the us and a decade in dubai and other places um uh so i'm like i don't want to be that guy from new york jo aata hai thinks that he knows everything but so no. so you learned uh, marathi also here because yeah. i can see you talking in marathi to your <laughs> you know people working here so no i mean I, it's like so before i came to india mm. after quit my job i was in guatemala which is in central america for mm. a year working with local entrepreneurs and wahan par to sab spanish mein hota hai and i didn't know the language right so i felt very disconnected Out of place, yeah. and i obviously within I took ext- intensive classes there and you know eventually after like 3 or 4 5 months i got to a point where i was communicating like you know and i was and able to kind of have complex conversations with entrepreneurs because uh, my calm was to work with entrepreneurs there uh, so I, i understood the value of language yeah. right as much as knowledge is languageless you still have to be able to communicate with people right. uh, and and local context is very important so mm. when i moved back to india for me it was a no brainer like luckily i had some roots in india so I, marathi wasn't like a completely new language mm. so I, i started taking classes i so funny i actually got an email from my teacher today because she's on our list so she's like anish i'm following your work and it's great so it's really nice that even my marathi teacher it's is following nice, my work eh? yeah mm-hmm. uh, so yeah i did take classes from her and marathi is a difficult language especially like the small things it was it was hard my marathi <laughs> is still horrible uh, my team laughs at me a lot about it but i try you know um, and uh, but, yeah, but it, it's but the reason is because you If you want to make real change in any country, in any place, 
the more connected you are, the better it is. And language is a great form of connection yeah, and understanding. Get into the roots. Yeah, so yeah. that's really important. So anyways, that's why I ended up coming to India. I mean, right. <laughs> yeah. waste management was another story. And, uh, but yeah, the whole point was that when I quit my job in New York, I didn't want to be that guy who comes from India. Like you know, some big shot. No, I know mm. nothing about India. Nothing about impact. So I spent before coming to India, I spent a couple of years working in Guatemala and Kenya to learn how to impact karte ho. in the developing mm. world. How do you make change happen? Right. Then after that, I was like, okay, I understand how it works. After two years, then I came to India. I'm like, now India. Because the, the point was, if I came to India, I don't want to leave, right? Okay. So the because the plan is to work here for the next three, four decades. Because this problem doesn't get solved in a couple of years. Um, uh, so yeah, so that then I came back to India. Um, you know, before starting, I was like, okay, I have to work in poverty, but who are the poor in India? How? Who is this? What is India? How does it work? It's, I haven't lived here in two decades. Is it? Yeah, I haven't lived here. Researched the space, came across waste management, mm. got interested for two reasons. Mm. Yeah, there's this poor population of waste okay. pickers, and there's this kachra. That is that not that is not being recycled, mm. and that gave rise to a shaya. Where the thesis that we're trying to solve is how do you fundamentally increase the value of right, waste right. and use that to empower waste pickers out of poverty. Okay, but when we talk about waste pickers uh, in India, right? Uh, why do you think there are waste pickers still existing? I mean, ये बहुत common sense वाली बात है, right? कि आपका dry waste है, आपका wet waste है. It starts from your home. Uh, don't don't you think uh, waste pickers or rag pickers ka population jo hai in India mein wo bahut zyada hai that very good right question. from right from uh, uh, you know the age the younger age yeah, like 3 4 5 they yeah. are like picking up um, yeah, waste plastic or plastic mm-hmm. bottles they are there in the kachra mm-hmm. they, are, they are there in the landfills all the time mm-hmm. so uh, what do you have to say yeah it's, it's a it's a great question and uh, thanks for asking that question not many people ask that question yeah. so um, it's a really important one um in a nutshell um when um uh, the waste pick, first of all waste picker should not exist as a as an right. occupation but agar hum waste pickers ko displace kar rahe it has to be a positive displacement mm. into better livelihoods right. so why does this occupation exists when these waste pickers generally come from the village uh into into town looking for better opportunities and then they find ki they don't want to be farmers they want to work work in the city mm. they find ki city mein the only available option is to be a construction worker right. because wo manrega skin jo bhi it's easy you can be it's it's labor it's easily available labor but that job. that is the worst job and yeah. I, and i think the worst worst is that kind of is construction in construction mm. work compared to that if you end up becoming a waste picker it's better because you're independent jab tumhe kacha uthana hai tum utha lo nahi uthana hai but don't you think it's a dirty job oh it's like. a terrible job the sad thing is that this is the better alternative for some of them right because because uh, we are educated ones but yeah. we don't even know how to throw a broken glass so that's a that's di- the worst part but that's mean. a different argument altogether right. the changing consumer behavior to be mm. more conscious about waste consumption is a different argument mm. waste because don't exist because hum kachra fekte hai bhai they exist because isme ye kachre mein value hai right wow. 50% of the income of a waste picker it's a resource is, for them yeah 50% of the income is plastic waste correct तो जब तुम प्लास्टिक वेस्ट को बैन करना चाहते हो राइट यू ऑल्सो थिंक कि अरे 50% ऑफ द इनकम इज ए वेस्ट सो हाउ डज दिस वर्क सो उनको व्हाई व्हाई डू दे नॉट पिक अप चिप्स पैकेट्स क्योंकि इसमें कुछ वैल्यू नहीं है कोई खरीद रहा नहीं है कोई mm. नहीं दे रहा है पेट mm. बॉटल्स तो वो यू डोंट फाइंड इंडिया में 90% ऑफ पेट बॉटल्स आर रिसाइकल बिकॉज़ ऑफ आवर वेस्ट पिकर्स बिकॉज़ दे कलेक्ट इट बिकॉज़ उनको पैसा मिल रहा है उससे सो इट्स अ मच लार्जर सोशियो इकोनॉमिक इकोनॉमिक इशू बिसाइड्स द देयर आल्सो लाइक लो कास्ट माइग्रेंट वर्कर्स दे ट्रीटेड रियली बैडली in pune mm. 30% of the waste pickers have been bitten by dogs by stray dogs oh. so like it's yeah it's 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 but that's a sad part ki it's not necessarily in india the worst occupation available Correct. it is pretty bad it's probably one of the worst but some of waste pickers prefer doing this than mm. working in the farm or working as a construction labor worker um, sometimes you know they can't work as construction labor workers as well so i mean it's it's a sad situation altogether yeah. but we have to start somewhere correct correct so coming back uh, to the question of sunglasses uh, in making one sunglass ek sunglass ke piche how many uh, you know packets have been used so one sunglass approximately five packets of chips okay and that is how this works i mean how does how do you make these uh, you know how do you transform these packets into sunglasses yeah. so we take the packets and we first like wash them and we uh, we the grind them shred process. them then it goes through a patent pending process where we chemo mechanically extract raw materials from it we demetalize it we remove the cellulose we remove 
PET, which is a compound, and we're left with this khichdi of polyolefins, polypropylene hmm. polyethylene, which we then compound into high quality materials, okay. which we then use for injection molding sunglasses. But you can use that material for many other applications. We're doing coasters, we're working on lamps, maybe okay. furniture. So you're not limited till only sunglasses. You are also getting into various other products. We look, want to whatever makes sense. Okay, that's wonderful. So when we are talking about uh, uh, the sunglasses made from uh, waste plastic. Um, I would like to know like uh, how is the response from the audience? I mean are you loaded with uh, uh, the orders? So yeah, we were very surprised with the response. When we launched, we were like, haan, paacho sunglasses, we'll, we'll have, you know, we have raw materials for 500 sunglasses. Uh, we'll take about 2-3 months to sell this. Correct. But uh, when we launched, within 6 days, we were, um, we had sold 500 sunglasses ka or okay. orders um, and now we're trying to like backfill them because we thought we'd have more time to make these sunglasses right, right. so the response has been good we got lucky i think uh, we had this video that went out i don't know if you saw it I but saw that video, video yeah but yes. that video did really well i think it connected with people right. um, and it went a little vi little i think viral which is unexpected right as uh, it went on linkedin we got kind of close to a million views on linkedin right Lovely. now um, which we didn't expect right so i think we got a lot of organic interest in mm. sales and then mm. people like the story I mean and it's also real like we're not yes. making any of this up right yes. you can you can use your to mamare lab me chobi you can see for yourself <laughs> you can tell us what's real we're very transparent with people yeah. uh, but see when we are talking about these uh, goggles right mm. what what is the USP of uh, this goggle if you can give me few pointers yeah so one of them is that sustainability angle is big for us I think that's the main differentiator but we also have a QR code on the side right okay here. if you scan the QR code you can know ki kaha se waste aya kaun se waste pickers ne is par kaam kiya okay. how this was recycled which is pretty cool the lenses are UV polarized also this is super bendy right like so it will fit and adapt to your face really good the material also doesn't break humne gaadis ke upar chalai ek bar and nothing happened to it so uh, so it's very durable Lovely. agar tum is par galti se baith gaye kuch nahi hoga isko um, so there are some benefits i was talking to some a customer today and he and she was like anish i, I don't get scared putting this in my bag you know right. because if i put it in my bag i know that it won't break Lovely, agar, right. so <laughs> you know, i'm like oh, right. Great. So, this, so it's not just a sustainable product. It's actually yeah. functional. Like it looks think. lovely, right? Yeah, it looks yeah. great. And look good. Yeah. So, but why only black color? Are you going to bring out many other colors? I also? hope so. Now, in our lab, in 1200 square foot, our lab is all done. Color has a little limitation. Hai. Correct. Uh, but yeah, in the future, my team also is like very like. Can we try different colors? So we want to try different colors. Okay. Uh, but we only have one design, one style right now. So it's just mm. a proof of concept. It was just a pilot, and we were so. Again, all of this is like even you coming and interviewing me yes. today is a surprise, no? Like we had no idea that this was would garner any interest. Correct, from correct. Because this is something interesting, right? Into fashion and people will, uh, you know, I think uh, wear these sunglasses because um, a this is something uh, coming from uh, the waste plastic, mm -hmm. and uh, b you are protecting mother <laughs> from the uh, waste plastic. But uh, Anish, can this uh, innovative sunglasses uh, be replicated also by uh, the competitors? I mean, once you are in the market, this can be done, yeah, right? It's a, good, it's a good question. I think, you know, sunglasses is a very saturated market. There are many brands. Hai. Huh. I mean, Lenskart tomorrow can just get some recycled material and make recycled sunglasses. Correct. Definitely. And they probably will. And it's good. I hope they do, right? Uh, because we want more recycled material to be used. Correct. But nobody can get the material we have, which is from okay. packets of chips. Hmm. Now, you will say that a consumer doesn't care, right? Consumer is like, recycle it or not, boss? I made chips packets or HDP bottles, what do I do? What do I do? So that's why when in our branding, we try to be like, it's not, it's made from packets of chips. Like, our sunglasses are written that it's packets of chips. It's not that it's recycled, it's made from packets of chips. So we think it's unique that what, what this is. Mm -hmm. um, and also, what a lens card or what somebody bigger won't be able to replicate is the social story, right? Because we do the whole process ourselves. So we can tell you where the waste came from, we can tell you which waste pickers worked on it, Correct. how we are incorporating waste pickers, that you can't buy, right? Mm. that nobody can do. Right. And again, sunglasses isn't the answer, Maybe, you know, that's not going to solve the problem. Yeah. We have other products we'll work on, we'll partner with places like Lenskart, with places like our Titan mm. Sat Call. Tha. The other brands are going to work together because mm. sustainability is such a big thing and, right. and we're not trying to be like competitive, right? because that's not our style, nahi hai, right? Huh. the style is ki collaborative. Because we're looking to solve a problem. Right. We're Sorry. not trying to make money. Correct. That's not our primary goal. Hmm. Our primary goal is to solve social environmental problems. If we have money, there much easier ways to make money. Yeah. Right? right. Uh, uh, this is very hard. Um, so. You wanted to do this. You wanted to fill the void. 
Well, you, yeah, spill my <laughs> work, but also it's a, it's a real problem, right? Like, I, like I, I like to work hard on things and, hmm. you know, it just feels like worth it, you know, it's like it's worth working on it. Correct. Part. So, when the Swachh Bharat mission uh, introduced in India, mein, what do you think, what is uh, the scenario of waste management sector right now in India? So, I think, so since the beginning, waste in India isn't the biggest problem in the right. world. Because, first of all, I'm, as Indians, I think we're just naturally very good at recycling things. We like to reuse. We're very frugal with our, you know, an amount of waste per person isn't very high compared to a lot of the foreign countries, uh, a lot of Western countries especially. So we're good with our waste. Mm. India, 60% of plastic is recycled. We're, we're generally good, right? The right. problem is more complex, I think, that there's this untapped... So it's more recycled in India? Right? One of the highest rates One in the, of the world for plastic. Rates, right? um, uh, and even like paper and stuff, almost 100% of paper, 99% okay. gets recycled. Like it's very high, these, even glass, a lot of glass gets... I mean, kabadi wala jo rehte, yes. both hota hai yaha par kaam, it's not bad. Plus, with the Swachh Bharat uh, mission, hmm. there's been an extra push to get right. even our rivers cleaner, hmm. get our streets clean, like hmm. aesthetically also to make things look better. And that's been great, right? Like, okay. um, yeah, it's like it's. We feel very as a recycling startup, as a waste management startup, we feel very supported by the government. We feel okay. very supported by uh, as a, both as a startup and as as the work that we're that doing. That was my next question: Is the government uh, helping you out? They're supporting you. So we've gotten you? some funding from the government. Uh, actually, we won a startup India seed fund. Hmm. We won a ten lakh grant from startup India seed fund, which is government funded okay. through AICISB. So they funded us. यहाँ पर भी हमें ये स्वच्छ पुरस्कार उन्होंने दिया है पुणे म्यूनसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन हमें दिया है दैन या द गवर्नमेंट इज कॉन्सली सपोर्टिंग अस आई डोंट फील अनसपोर्टेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट राइट लाइक इट्स लाइक नो दिस इज यू नो दे इंडिया इज अ ग्रेट प्लेस टू स्टार्ट अप यस देर सम हिकअप हेयर एंड देर एंड सम थिंग्स यू हैव टू काइंड ऑफ जस्ट यू नो देर आर नॉट ऑलवेज ईजी But in the end, like अगर तुम्हारे पास will है, it it हो सब हो जाता है, होता है and and some as somebody who's not lived in India for two decades, I can say this now कि हाँ मैं US में भी कुछ शुरू कर सकता था, but like for instance, if we want to replicate the same work that we're doing here, like the research, the machines that you saw, everything that we have in the US, the exact same work, it would have cost me 10x more. Okay. And I don't think we would have moved 10x faster. Right. मतलब हाँ दस दस गुना ज़्यादा दे रहे हो पैसे तो are you gonna move 10x faster? But what do you think? What is the difference? Uh... No, everything from like just the machinery would cost a lot. Dollar is expensive. Rent is expensive. Right. Everything is more expensive over there, right? Mm. Um, so yeah, here it's things just work. Things happen, you know. Um, um, so so I think it's been I've been even in Pune specifically right, right. I was it was between Bombay and Aurangabad I was trying to see which and Pune as options to start and Pune turned out to be the best middle ground correct correct and when we uh, talk about this sector uh, what are your future plans uh, uh, with Asha so, so honestly this is just the start right like right. Um, our long term goal is to now first our next step is to take this from the lab, यहाँ पर हम पांच किलो रोज कर रहे हैं recycle to a pilot plant where we can do at least a hundred kilos a day and really scale the process, both the recycling and the selling and just kind of being able to maintain a business model that can sustain our impact. That's the next step. अगर वो ठीक से हुआ and we're looking to raise a round of funds for that. वो ठीक हुआ then it's multiplication time, right? Because this answer needs to be all across the country, maybe even in different parts of the world in different forms. And we're looking at waste management differently. We're looking at it from a more decentralized perspective. कि normally क्या करते हैं recyclers have centralized plants. पूरे महाराष्ट्र में एक बड़ा plant बनाओ. So and they only do one type of plastic. हम सिर्फ pet recycle करेंगे. Correct. But वो पूरे दुनिया से पूरे देश से पूरे स्टेट से तुम सब पूरा पेट यू ब्रिंगिंग ओवर देयर डजंट डजंट सीम लाइक द ग्रीनेस्ट थिंग टू डू सो आई रियली बिलीव दैट वेस्ट नीड्स टू बी सॉल्व्ड डिसेंट्रली मतलब जहाँ पर वेस्ट इज जेनरेटेड वहाँ पर ही ट्रीट होना चाहिए जितना एस मच एस पॉसिबल ओके एंड इज दिस हैपनिंग डू यू थिंक no, so we're no. trying to build those models, right? Like yeah. where हम we source for instance our waste mm. from the closest mm. uh, waste picker collective जो जहाँ ये जब चिंचवाड़ के जगह से ही waste collect करता है so idea is कि जहाँ पर waste generate हुआ है वहाँ पर let's process as much as possible uh, and then okay maybe some big manufacturing or some central or some big process that is complex वो तुम central कर सकते हो but at least क्यों क्या होता है समझो ये milk packets रहते हैं अगर वो तुम पुणे से दिल्ली तक लेके जाओ या if you take it a long distance तीन चार दिन में उसपे कीड़े लग जाते हैं तो then you're making your you're making your life harder right वो same packet को जिसमें दूध लगा है if you treat it the same day generated or one or two days afterwards, 
कुछ नहीं होगा पर तीन चार दिन तुम इधर से उधर लगा कर बंद के ट्रक में किधर डालकर फिर बांस फिर एवरीबडी कितना कचरे में कितनी बांस है हाँ कचरे में बांस है हमारा कचरा है बट क्विक यू ट्रीट है तो मोह जीने के What is the best solution for this? I mean, you can start it from home also, right? When you're segregating the waste, yeah, yeah. जब आप गीला कचरा, सूखा कचरा फेंक रहे हो, yeah. when you're talking about the milk packets also, we can actually yeah. clean it properly and uh, yeah, yeah. throw the plastic. I right? mean, there are many things. So, my personal philosophy in this yeah. is, look, there are many angles to this, right? Mm. Some people are a bit more about consumer behavior change. Like, you can be better, segregate, ये करो, वो करो, right? Yeah. I am not like that as much because I'm like, okay, yeah, we can all be better. We should all be segregating and doing those things. But, वो scale करना is very difficult. Behavior mm. change. People तुम बोलोगे, बोलोगे, लोग बोलेंगे क्या को? I have to have ten other things to do, right? Mm. And normally people have. So my perspective is more key. How do we come up with solutions that incentivize people to right. do this, right? right? So where you're not forcing people. See, जब अभी कभी अभी बच आजकल के बच्चों हाँ वी डो वॉन्ट अरेंज मैरिज पेरेंट्स आर फोर्सिंग यू टू गेट मैरिज हमें हमें इंडिपेंडेंस चाहिए द सेम पीपल हु डोंट वॉन्ट हु डोंट वॉन्ट अरेंज मैरिज आर टेलिंग द धाबा वाला डाउन स्टेज डोंट यूज प्लास्टिक कंटेनर्स दे आर बींग पटर्न ऑल अबाउट समथिंग राइट लाइक हु आर दे आर पेरेंट्स टेल दैम टू बी अरेंज मैरिज हु आर दे टू टेल द धाबा वाला नॉट टू यूज प्लास्टिक राइट सो आई सी एन इनकन्सिस्टेंसी देर यू कैन भी लाइक हाँ मुझे मत बोलो क्या करना है मेरी जिंदगी से तो हाउ कैन यू टेल समबरी एल्स वॉट टू डू विद देयर लाइफ सो आई एम मोर पर्टिकुलर लिस we will make it easier for you to recycle make your life easier hmm. because as soon as you add more obstacles in the way Correct. it just becomes harder for people right. to do and karenge log karenge some good people will do it but then you need critical mass you need right. 80% 90% people to do it and sometimes right. that's really hard to do but i think more and more people are coming into this sector yeah. right so, so so sorry just to finish that thought it doesn't mean ki humne karna nahi chahiye yes we should definitely segregate at home and try right, right. but i think that's not the only, only way solution. that's not going to solve everything from my perspective right. that needs to work consumer behavior change needs to happen and also we need to come up with better systems that mm. ye jo separate ho gaya hai wet or dry mm. uska next step bhi theek se ho raha hai right yeah. somebody actually taking this and not mixing it back but this has to be organized right right now this industry is not organized it's unorganized correct it is it is largely unorganized and, and It's a, it's a double edged sword it's unorganized but it's still effective in Correct. some way Correct. but it's still exploitative in other ways it's hmm. still very unhygienic but and come dangerous for in india mein so ho raha hai na ho raha hai that's the thing it's a very see just because ho raha hai doesn't mean that it can't be better right. or it can have better you have better yeah, people like you are coming in this sector and uh, making it like haan, but more shuru, green ha but 5 kilo se kya hone wala hai hoga abhi to is start so nahi shuruaat hai so always be positive right i am definitely positive are... but realistic <laughs> correct I think uh, more and more are people coming in this sector, yes, yes. and uh, they are joining hands, and they are making um, India more greener, clean. So this is what I believe. And see, in one or the other way, I think you are also creating employment for uh, the rag pickers. Yeah, yeah. Rag pickers, as you said when we were walking and through, you know, you showed me your uh, lab and everything, the factory. But and 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 at that time, you told me that uh, these waste pickers do their job also. picking up the trash and everything collecting the trash and uh, they are working here for 4 hours also so in a way you're giving them employment additional income yes that's very important for us right, right. like ki right now we only hire them part time because we want to make sure ki kyunki agar hamara bhi kuch malum nahi na abhi kya hone wala 6 mahine mein 7 mahine mein because we're a startup okay obviously now we've gotten some momentum to signs are positive yeah. but we don't want to promise anything to the waste pickers we can't deliver because yeah. agar wo unke khud ke if they stop the other source mm. of income mm. then ho sakta hai ki agar hamara bhi ho gaya to fir then they are they are in a right. worse position right. so again for us it's always keeping them at the heart of our solution mm. making sure we're not negatively impacting them and if we're impacting them it should be a much positive it has to be a positive yes, impact yes. Um, at least no negative impact right. at a minimum right um and and that's the beginning and so india mein agar tum waste management ka kaam kar rahe ho mm. you have to be inclusive it has it's a more complex problem it's a social mm. problem it's an economic problem it's an environmental problem correct and you can't look at it from one dimension you have to look at it holistically correct you do you think economy and waste management is related well i think it's economical in the sense ki waste has resource waste is material this material is really high quality material like it's really good material okay uh it takes it's also very hard to make these packets of chips mm-hmm. so um so if you just throw it away or burn it you you're essentially destroying value right and economy is it's essentially is a is a is an exchange of value so from my perspective there is economic value in this that can be extracted right yeah. and that's what i mean by economy and then yeah i mean people claim it's a multi billion dollar 
economy in general, the waste and all of that. Like you know, you have all those pundits being like putting these random right. consulting numbers to right. it. Okay, yeah, that's it. But there is value. There is 50 to 80 percent of waste in India is untreated Correct. or landfill. Right? Correct. It's a lot. Okay, uh, but uh, when I talk about uh, innovations, like technologies, if I may ask you. कौन से ऐसे इनोवेशन है जैसे आप बना रहे हो सन ग्लासेस राइट वुड यू लाइक टू नेम फ्यू इनोवेशन दैट इज हैपनिंग इन वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट या सम कूल सम कूल वर्क बींग डन इन रिसाइकलिंग इन इंडिया इन जनरल देर इज आई थिंक वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट पैट रिसाइकलिंग प्लान पैट इज प्लास्टिक बॉटल बिस्तर की बॉटल वो दे डू इज ए कन्वर्टेड इन टू पॉलिस्टर यान मतलब उससे कपड़े बन बन सकते हैं राइट हाँ सो चिप्स वो प्लास्टिक बॉटल्स को रिसाइकल पॉलिस्टर यान में बना सकते हैं उसके भी प्रॉब्लम थे कोई थोड़े इन्वायरमेंट के लिए बट इट स्टिल रियली कूल एंड वन ऑफ द हाइस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ रिसाइकलिंग ऑफ दैट हैपन्स इन इंडिया बिग फैक्ट्रीज इन 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 महाराष्ट्र इज वेल दैट टू दिस सो वहाँ का काम इज इंटरेस्टिंग देर इज You know, Hasu Dala is based in Bangalore. They're doing good work with waste pickers and with waste collection. Uh, then you have, then you also have the alternative solutions, right? Like, mm. so I'm not a big fan of bioplastics and all of that. But there's one company called Zero Circle, run by Neha Jain, based in Pune and Bombay. Mm. Um, they do um, uh, they do plastic materials made from seaweed. Uh, so bioplastics made from seaweed. So they do okay. packaging that is feels like plastic, looks like plastic, but it's made from seaweed. And it's fully, you know, home compostable, um, and you know, it has many interesting yeah, applications. Right? Yeah, it's very good. It has it's many, fantastic. many good applications for that. Yeah. But even bioplastics, me, there are some other problems. Yeah. Seaweed is actually her solution is good, but the other, but anyway, so there's we need innovation at all points, Absolutely. right? There's a company called Refillable that's doing refills, you know. I know them. Yeah. I know Marwan Abu Bakar from yeah, Asura Dala. Yeah, yeah. From Refillable, I know uh, the founder. Yeah. So yeah, they're all doing great work, and yeah. I think. And things like they all some some of them are very like Puravs is like anti-plastic, you know. And for me, it's like no, it's nothing like that, right? You no, know, it's like we're all trying to solve a problem together, Correct. you know. And 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 there are different angles to to it, and you know we have to. Keep, there's no way that one solution is going to solve all problems. Right, right, right. So Anish, we have come to end of our session. But jate jate, I would uh, like to ask you that. Uh, is there any piece of advice you'd like to give to people who are fighting against uh, the plastic pollution? Um, advice. <laughs> I don't like to give gyan, man. Gyan batna is not <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, I don't know, but I, I, I think the only thing I would say is that the plastic problem, mm. the waste problem in India is way more complex than Correct. than sometimes we think it is. Like even I, when I came into this space, I thought that plastic is bad and we need to. And my perspective has changed a little bit. It's right. that plastic necessarily isn't the worst thing in the world. Plastic mm. has helped us in many ways. It made it's made our life easier. It's actually helped the planet in some ways. You know, plastic yeah. was first invented, Q, to replace ivory. Okay. So they were instead of killing elephants and taking huh. their tusks and making pool balls, mm. they you, they invented plastic. So plastic, okay. once upon a time, was the greenest discovery. Considered. Right? Considered. Right. Huh. I mean now. So there's a big. Pro- I'm not saying plastic is the best thing in the world. Plastic okay. has many issues, uh, and the way we dispose of plastic and is, is microplastics, real issues, mm-hmm. right? But I think my only suggestion is to like let's look at this more holistically yeah. before just jumping on some bandwagon. Ki ye kharaab hai, wo kharaab hai. Yeah. And then also to not forget the social sector, the waste picker element of this, right? Fifty percent right. of the in- of an income of a waste picker is plastic waste. Correct. So just banning all plastic and all that. These are draconian measures that might not always work. Yeah. Right? So just you know, just be more aware of like the complexities of this. Problem. Yes, absolutely. So thank you, Anish. Thank you for uh, being on our show. Thank you for showing your lab to us. And audience, please bear the noise behind because we are in the factory where these uh, cool sunglasses are made. And uh, thank you for doing a wonderful job in the waste management sector. It's just the start. Thank you, Ravya, for your patience. <laughs> I know it's so chaotic today, I, I, and I know it's a long day for you. Thank you for coming all the way here. I really appreciate it. Uh, and yeah. And, Oh, oh, I'm excited to see how this turns out. Thank you again.